So good morning. I am Dr. Manveer Bhatia. I am a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist in Delhi, India. Today I am going to be discussing about sleep. I think we all take this condition or a state for granted, not really paying much attention to what is sleep, why do we sleep, how do we sleep, what are the benefits of sleep, and what really happens if we don't sleep. This might seem a bit complicated, so we are going to address this in each talk separately. So I think first let's try and define what is sleep. We do know that we spend one third of our lifespan in sleep or in a condition or a state sleep. But have we ever thought about it that what is really sleep or why do we sleep? Sleep has been defined in the dictionaries. It's been talked about in mythology, in literature, in poetry, by artists, by painters, and each one has their own different perspective. But I think just to simply put it, it is a state in which one is unresponsive or decreased responsiveness to the environment. That means your responsiveness to sound, to light is lowered, but one is arousable. That means depending upon the threshold or depending upon the intense sound or light which is required, you will wake up from that state. So that is simply sleep. So we do know all species sleep. Different postures by different species are adopted and different durations are required for different species. So thus coming to this next important question that why do we sleep? So to think about it, this obviously has a purpose. You know, if we are spending one third of our life in the state sleep, there must be a defined purpose for this. this. The understanding or the nature or the requirement for sleep has gone through major changes in the last few years. One of the initial theories was that is this a protection? Meaning that in the era when there was no light or in the darkness, it was considered that if you could go and hide somewhere or even that this would protect you from predators. So whether it was animals or humans in those days that they could, there could be a time that you would not be preyed upon. But I think that theory has fallen now much into disrepute or not considered as one of the main functions of sleep. Second was a thought that is this energy conservation. So when we sleep, the metabolism slows down, 